Okay, guys, I don't want to waste uh, much of your time. I quickly want to do this video for you guys. And um, we are still talking about what is going on, uh, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Of course, you have seen that on your screen. Now, um, let me give you the details of everything, the whole story and the whole gist. And then um, I will tell you guys the reason why um, one of the prayers, remember, uh, between Peter Obi's petition against APC and um, Tinibu. Um, INEC brought in one witness. Uh, APC didn't bring in any witness, while uh, Tinibu and Shetima, as um, another respondent, uh, brought in one witness and um, 18, uh, just one witness and um, 18. I don't know how to put it, but at 18, the um, reason or their own prayers. Now, one of the prayer, rather than them seeing themselves as the respondent, you know, uh, to prove that they won the election, election was free and fair, uh, they now turn around to make uh, Peter B. Uh, respondent by saying that Peter B. was not a member of Labour Party um, before the election or a stipulated uh, period of time that um, his name was not in Labour Party registrar uh, within INEC um, time, INEC um, stipulated period of time to make sure that you are a member of a party before you are eligible to contest. Now, Tribunal has sacked a Labour Party rep. Okay, that is... Um, the election of uh, Mr. Ngozi Okoli of Labour Party as member representing Onyocha Oshimili constituency of Delta State in the House of Representatives. Okay, so it happened yesterday, Monday, as um, they nullified uh, his candidacy. Now, you can see where politics is um, playing out. I wouldn't say the judiciary is, um, you know, but... Remember, uh, the vice presidential candidate of uh, uh, Matiku Abubakar, that is um, Ifanyi Okowa, was a running mate to Atiku Abubakar. All right. So, in about um, 108 page judgment, um, it lasted for like five hours. The three man tribunal, headed by Justice Eze Musa, disqualified Okoli and declared the runner up in the February 25. Uh, election to the Elumelu of the PDP as the winner. All right, um, according to Elumelu, uh, in his petition, he approached the tribunal seeking to disqualify Okoli on the ground that he was not member, he was not properly sponsored by Labour Party, and that he did not resign his position as a public office holder. Yes. And now, guess what? The tribunal had to agree with the petitioner that uh, the respondent, that is Okoli, was not duly sponsored by uh, that is Labour Party, as he was not a member of the party as at May 28, 2022, when the primary held. Okay, so you can now see what um, is playing out right now. Uh, the reason why... Uh, PDP, sorry, um, this person, Tinibu and Chetima, now made Peter B to be a respondent. That his name is not in Labour Party in Anambra State, uh, that he was not a duly member of a Labour Party uh, before the election. You can see the magu magu that is here. But personally, um, this is just the tribunal because um, it will not only end here. Yes, for the fact that Labour Party is a dead force party that is trying to come up, the other people, um, should I say the current ruling party, which we know as APC and um, uh, second uh, ruling party, uh, which is PDP. Of course, Nigerians are tired of all these two political parties. We practice partisan politics, but um, Nigerians needed something different. You understand? They needed to try something different. Even the APC chairman in APC said the reason why Labour Party had such support is that Nigerians wanted to try something else because we practice partisan politics. 
But even the other hand, they said they are voting individual. I mean, most of these people in this political party, they will not even smell that position. Because you don't do the same thing every time and expect a different result. It is in Nigeria, you see somebody being a local government chairman for eight years, uh, a councillor for eight years, and the person becomes uh, probably a senator for eight years, or the person becomes a governor, stayed in office. Of course, you know these people, you know their capability, you know their capacity. But because of political party, you see those people coming back into power, even if they underperform. Even if they underperform during their tenure in office, but you see those people coming back to that same position just because of political party influence. So that is the reason why I'm saying Nigerians will practice partisan politics. If politics, if it were to be a one-on-one -on -one without a political party, and I believe I think Nigerians should uh, try to amend that um, constitution that it has to go through. Uh, political party. Of course, we know that you cannot contest election. That is one of the things that is, as in, making Nigeria to be where they are. If only they will try to amend such condition that somebody have to, uh, you know, join the political party before you are elected. No. Now, this is the same thing that is playing out. People needed this man, Labour Party. People needed him. They voted for him. That was the reason, yes, we remember the obedient wave. That was the reason why uh, he won that position. But because of political party and um, judiciary, the claim that he was not a member of the party, sometimes they will claim, ah, you did not have Wayek or whatsoever to contest. You did not have NYSE or whatsoever to contest. Now, this is another thing that is making... Nigerians to be where they are right now because they do not allow people to contest election without going through political party but however let me know what you guys think um, I quickly want to update you one of the reasons why um, Shetima and uh, Tinibu tried to make Peter be uh, that is a respondent by saying trying to make it look as if Peter B was not even eligible to contest the February 25 election. Now, this is what is going on in Nigeria. If only they will allow people to make their choice, to vote who they want, who they want to represent them, if only they will allow that, it would have been the best. If only they will try to amend such condition, all this wouldn't have happened. I mean, ask yourself, somebody won an election and then the only thing you feel you can reclaim back your mandate is that uh, the person was not a member of that political party uh, before a stipulated period of time. I mean, but this, are, this is the choice of the people. However, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.